What is that floating? <gasps> shark? Now there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark! I'm ready. It's I'm ready. A I, think shark. I think you have the, uh, the thing. Let's go. Oh, the game stick? Yes. Yeah. Hold on. Uh. Oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But Nigga, I guess what? No. If he asks me, he about to ask, I'm gonna say no. I'm sorry, bro. Nigga, what? You too insecure. Wait, what? You're, you're, you're too insecure yo, for me. What? You're too insecure for me, bro. You a little That's too eager to start going to playing with planes and shit. Be my shit. Be with you. Oh. Man, this shit is no. floated I away. Can't tell. Is no. It's run the water, but I'm on my knees right now. Man, uh -huh. this just floated away. Julia. I'm on my knees right now. Will you marry me? Uh, should I really violate? Yo, yo, play your game. I'll be astounded. I, I, oh crap. Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. I don't give a fuck if you're serious. Play your game, cuz. Play your game, cuz. I'll say yes. Alex. After all that, <laughs> after all that, nigga said yes. You folded. How's it end? The nigga proposed yeah, underwater. That's kind of cool. Shit out of you. <laughs> you don't put it on now, nigga. Did you all right, handsome yourself? hero. You want to get on with our escape from the uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Fliss is. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. All right. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Uh, decompress, bro. Damn it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Decompress, I, I, I right. Can fuck with you. Whatever's happening, I can't stop explosions. What am I going to do up there? You can cross, bro. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go. Hey, See, what the hell's going on? Man, what the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Um, I think this is from with the grill. <laughs> Oh, was a little, I was about to lose my uh, life since just save niggas from the grill. The, the barbecue. Come on, man. Jesus, look like the whole thing. <laughs> nah, I was calm for some digging. You got you got that. Uh why are you paying the ocean? So why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. They got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. Say, so then uh, Ambassador Conrad mm. figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Oh, I really like it. Whatever. Who cares, hey, right? What I want to know is, out. what'd you guys find? Well, <clears throat> we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? Oh, oh, oh holy my shit. shit. What you doing? Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come now up and let's celebrate. I know he's about to be in a porthole. <laughs> Fuck it. I'm trying to get some dick tonight. Fuck it. So they're in the first chapter? Oh, he, he looked disappointed. I did pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know about you, though. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers, then. Alex and his little brother, Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Ah, And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Mm. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong, forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms. So oh, far, yeah. at least. <laughs> Let me reassure you. We have helped them to make some decisions they'll value later on. Okay. You're doing well. That's it? You're doing well? I'll take that. 
So we're Try like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, well certain. I mean, that's <laughs> probably and this <laughs> meatball. Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped us? You think it was like Afro Latino or something? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, just, I'm so confused. And, like... and since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Right below deck. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Oh, oh, uh, oh. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans. Eventually. Dad can foot the bill. Provocative. That's what make him insecure. That's no now make him you're insecure. speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us mm, to plan everything together. Will. You're right. I was so worried you might say no. You would have all Damn. Damn. Yo, he doing a lot. Is this how bitches feel when, when they got a reassuring nigga? Like, oh my god. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. Damn. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future. Yo, calm down. down. He's trying to get her to... This is mad. <laughs> so you can walk all over me? What is going on here? I'm not going to say nothing. <laughs> Fuck it. Stop talking. Where did everyone go? There was much <laughs> celebration to be had. I'll go he find them. It. He just relaxed. Let me see the bearings, though. I don't know. What's these... going on with these bearings? For oh, wait, well, that one doesn't have a set. That one is. What's this? I'm confused. That one doesn't say no, no core set. I'm confused now. Yeah, I, we can't do anything from there. Right, yeah, I don't know what any of this means. Hey, you seen my brother or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Uh, Let's this... go get him. Sure. Are you? So, but which one is, uh... The answer's no. You know, where the magic happens. Don't worry about it. They can go back on deck. This thing is drunk. Uh... Apologize for my... Yeah, I'm gonna apologize for this nigga. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. I don't fuck okay. with Conrad. I can deal with children. Mm. Conrad, beers, where are they? That oh might, yeah, the uh, beers. They really should my goal. I was just getting them now. Cause they're not. I've been checking these. Ooh, Alex fucking me heavy. Why does Fish not still not? Oh, maybe because we interact that much. Yeah, not too much interaction. Okay. Not gonna find that. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Is it about to turn it off? Yeah, we got to Yeah, let me back <laughs> up, let me back up. I'm not even gonna fuck with that, because you don't even know what you're looking at. Bro. Oh, dude. To keep it a stack. Why are you on the dime? It's not that memorable. Would I oh, bullet? Bullet. I don't need to look at that again. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I think um with um when my character comes back, because she made sure to tell him, he's like, oh, like it was a bullet down there. Mm. So I'll probably, I'll probably bro, bro, bro. More about it. Picture. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. Here's what I mean. He's in your case, so I'm probably in a room somewhere. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah, that seems a little too dangerous for my blood. Relax, Brad. Right here. Damn, there's other things I could have done too. Fuck it. Mm -hmm. Yo, Fliss is not one of 
<laughs> good good, good job, job resistance Ryan. there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? <laughs> Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. I told you to leave huh. everything down there oh. alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. I'm not gonna lie, Fliss, you're kind of getting me tight. So, I'm gonna oh, dismiss come on. you, bitch. No one knows we've even been down there, and I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think so you can scavenge you down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much more. <laughs> well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. <laughs> not like for fun. Ooh, the pussy's so bad. People drown in these waters yeah. and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Oh, so she looks at him? Yeah, I heard a story. Mm. Uh, happened right around here, too. So let's hear it. Okay. We could all use a good show. Let's oh, hear it. I, hear I it. bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Yo, this... Key of the one track mind. The woman answers, I live here in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, That isn't so. <laughs> of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical and insists her parents are upstairs. So they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine. Then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat oh. hook and hung from the rest. Why you change it? I'm changing the murder weapon. Wait a minute. Are you changing the murder weapon? Mm -hmm. I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood. A lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees... It's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Horrible. Hey, well, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Yeah. Uh, cool story, bro. <laughs> you have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay. I, I really oh, don't like your man, dog. 
We should all be trying to some weather heading, aren't we? Uh-uh. No, no, no. Yo, that is according insane. to standard vessel regulation, we are all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Hey, Jesus, nothing to do standard with issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> 10-4, good buddy. And I'm out. He's in the middle of the ocean in a thunderstorm. 